Okay. Um, per request, I am going to work out a few problems. I don't know if I have time to do all of them, so I'm just going to do a few of them right now. If I have time to finish it up, I will. But um, <clears throat> So some of the problems off the review that I think may be a little bit more difficult. Um, well, let's start with number three, and we did several of them in class. So uh, number three, we have a money problem. Uh, the thing you need to look for, this one is compounded continuously. And if money is compounded continuously, that means we are going to use the PERT formula, PE to the RT. And we just need to figure out what we're given. Uh, the interest rate is point is step five percent, so my R is 0 0.05. So I'll plug that in for R. Um, compounded continuously. Well, E is going to remain E. How long will it take my money to double? Oh, how long is a time question? So that means we don't know what time is. So time is going to remain in the problem. And what we run into here is we don't have anything for A or P. So problems like this, if I want to know how long it takes money to double, uh, it really doesn't matter what you start with. It, as long as in the end you have twice that. So I'm just going to make up a number for P. I kind of like the number uh, 10. Okay. So if P is 10, if my initial amount is 10, if money doubles, that means I'm going to end with 20. And then we solve this problem. So uh, my variable is in the exponent. I'm going to start by dividing by 10. 10's cancel. 20 divided by 10 is 2 <laughs> equals e to the point 0.05t. Then at at this point, we will take the natural log of both sides, ln, ln, and we will end up with the ln of 2 equals um, ln of e to the 0.05t is just a 0.05t. We'll divide by 0.05, and you will have your calculator, so you just throw this in the calculator, and your answer for this one is, where to go? There it is, 13.863. So over here, the 0.5s cancel. And you end up with 13.863. And my time for money problems is measured in years. So there we go. Number three. Okay, let's see. Next one, number four. Uh, credit card charges 24% interest compounded monthly. Okay, this is another money problem. And if things are compounded monthly, monthly means... Um, we're going to use this ugly formula, probably the ugliest of the ones that will be on the little test thing. So 1 plus R over N to the NT power. We have to start plugging stuff in. 24% uh, interest, there's your R. So I know that R is going to be 0.24. It's kind of a high interest rate, but such is the world of credit cards. The current balance is 2000 That is what we're starting with. That is my initial amount for my credit card balance. So P is going to be 2000 um, I failed to make a payment for 18 months. Now, that's a measure of time. That's how long the credit card company is going to add interest to my account. Um, and the, the tricky part here is time for money problems is always in years. So we have to think 18 months is how many years. Well, there are 12 months in a year, so uh, 18 months would be 12 months and six more. That's one and a half years. So there's my T, 1.5. Uh, so there we have R, we have P, we have T. Um, ooh, N, we don't know N. Let's see. Um, oh, compounded monthly. How often is this thing compounded? If it's compounded once a month, that means N is going to be 12. So there we have everything to plug in. A is equal to P, 2,000, times 1 plus R, which was 0.24, over N, which was 12, to the N times T, so 12 times 1.5. And you'll throw that in your calculator. And the ending balance is 2856 .49. So $2,856.49. Stay away from credit cards. They're the devil. Tell you what, if you can't pay for it, then don't buy it. Anyway. Okay, let's see. Uh, bacteria culture. My mother-in-law's shoe grows exponentially. Okay, now we're swapping away from money. We're talking about population growth. This is a bacteria problem growing exponentially. That means we're going to use PERT. 
Um, let's see, there are initially six bacteria. So initially six bacteria, that means P is six. That's my initial amount. The growth rate is point is 35% per day. So my R is going to be 0.35. Uh, how many are present after four weeks? And here's where you have to be careful, because if you notice, my interest rate is given in days. It's 35% per day. So my time needs to be converted to days. So four weeks, use my high level of, of math skill here. That's 28 days, right? Right? Oh, grammar is not as good, though. There we go. The grammar, 28 days. 28 days is T. So I have my T to be 28 days, and then we'll just throw everything else in. So my A is P, my initial amount was 6, E to the R, which was 0.35, uh, T, which is 28. We'll throw that in the calculator, and you will get, whoa! I said bacteria, right? That's weird. I definitely put the wrong unit on my answers on my, that I scanned from my webpage. So that's going to be um, 108,000. 202.469, but remember we are talking about living creatures here, and so we will always round that down. We don't quite have that next one yet, so um, 108,202 bacteria. And always include units with word problems. Always include your units. Make sure I did that on these problems. We'll see. Uh, dollars I included, years I included, and that was it. So. Make sure when you're working these word problems, you always include uh, units. Let's see. A group of gnomes lives under my bed. Their population grows according to the exponential growth model. Okay, exponential growth. Again, we are dealing with PERT. So A is equal to PE to the RT. Um, okay, the initial population was 5. That's your P. So I know that A is equal to 5E to the RT. Let's see. What else did they give us? Um, after three months, the population is eight gnomes. Okay, that sentence right here. After three months, the population is eight gnomes. That means my accumulated amount is eight when t is equal to three. So what I'm going to do in order to solve my growth rate, which means we need to find r, I'm going to plug in eight and three for a and t. And that's going to give me... 8 equals 5e e to the r times 3. And now we have to solve this equation for r. We'll start by dividing by 5. Divide by 5. Uh, let's see here. The 5's cancel. That's going to give me 8 fifths is equal to e to the 3r. My exponent, or my variable, is in the exponent. So we'll take the natural log of both sides. So we get ln of 8 fifths. is equal to ln e to the 3r is simply 3r. <gasps> oh, nice little hiccup there. Divide by 3. And we get my r to b. And for r on this one, I got 0.157. So there's your answer to a. But I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to rewrite my, my overall formula. Um, my population model is going to grow according to A equals 5E. And now that I know what R is, my equation is 5E to the 0.157T. Um, and what I'll actually do with that is I'm going to store that into my calculator. So this equation right here, I'm going to store in for Y1 of X. Because I'll probably need to use that later. I'll probably need to use that later. Something else I did on my calculator, once I got my answer of 0.157, that is rounded. And we're going to have to use that answer, that decimal, to answer parts B and C. You do not use rounded answers in middle steps. So I took this and actually stored it in my calculator as R. So anytime later on in the problem, I need to use this decimal, I actually punch in alpha R for my calculator. Uh, and that way I get a more accurate answer. So for part B, how many gnomes are present after a year? Um, that's going to be my amount accumulated. Um, when T is one year, but you have to be careful again. You have to be careful again because um, my time was three months. I used T equals three months 
to find my growth rate. So one year, I need to be aware that that is 12 months, and that's actually, whoa, did I just put, what, what, are, what is that? That's in here. Yeah, there we go. Time is going to be 12 months. So my accumulated amount after 12 months, we will simply throw this in the calculator, 5e to the point 157 times 12. And remember, 0.157, I don't actually punch that in my calculator. I punch R because I stored 0.157 for R. And when you do that, you get an answer of 32.768, which is going to be 32 notes. You always round living creatures down. Uh, you can't have part of a gnome. You either have a gnome or you don't. Um, Y'all may be unfamiliar with the breeding habits of gnomes, but you never have just part of a gnome. They're, they're like people. Uh, all right, so when will there be 30 gnomes present? Okay, well here I'm asking uh, at what time are there 30 accumulated? So this means A is 30 equals, and I'm going to go back to this equation, I need 30 to equal 5E to the point 157T, and then we will solve that equation. Okay, so let me scoot down here. I may scroll up so I can keep seeing my other work. There we go. And I will divide by 5. Divide by 5. It is cancel. Leaving me with 30 over 5, which is 6, equals e to the 0.157 t. Take the natural log of both sides. Bells ringing. ln of 6 is equal to 0.157 t. And then we will divide by 0.157. Remember, I'm not going to punch 0.157 in the calculator. That is stored for R. So when I punch this in, I actually hit ln of 6 divided by, and then I'll just hit alpha R. Over here, those cancel, and we're left with T equals 11.412 months. Always include units. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the one exception to units is when you're finding things like growth rate. Uh, you could have, and some of y'all may have thought to write your growth rate 0.157 as 15.7%, and I'm perfectly, perfectly okay with that. Uh, 0.157 is the exact same thing as 15.7%, so I would accept either one. Um, but just know that in your formula, when you, when you use your, your 0.157 for parts B and C, you actually need to use the decimal value, not the percent value. You good? I think there was one more problem I wanted to do. Yeah, this last problem. Uh, it's a logistics model. Uh, and remember, for these problems, you don't have to memorize the formula. You just have to know how to use it and what these numbers mean. Um, you do plug this in your calculator. So this big, ugly equation right here, I put in my calculator at y1 of x. And remember, your calculator, even though the equation does have a t in it, you need to actually plug in x in the calculator. Your calculator does not understand t um, uh, in this sense. So, uh, and I made that mistake when I was working this problem out the first time is I plugged in t and I kept getting kooky answers. Uh, so make sure that you plug in x for your, uh, for your equation. So part a, how many cats can my closet support? So I have population cats in my closet as a logistic model. That is the same question as carrying capacity, and the carrying capacity for this problem is 28, simply the number in the numerator. Uh, number B, what is the initial population? Initial population does not show up in the formula. You have to actually figure out initial population, and that you get that by plugging in 0, which I will plug into my calculator, y1 of 0, and you get 8, 8, exactly 8. So you, the initial population was 8 cats. Um, C, how many cats are present after 10 days? Uh, that would be simply your population after 10 days. Throw that in the calculator, and you get 14.585. But remember, you either have a cat or you don't. You don't have part of a cat. So we'll round that down. We have 14 cats. Uh, and then the last one, and this one is the most difficult kind of problem you will have to deal with. Um, it is the logistic model when I say, uh, when do I accumulate so many? So right here, 20 cats, that's how many I'm asking have accumulated. So I'll say 20 equals, I'll write it down here. 20 is equal to 28 divided by 1 plus 
e to the negative 0 0.10 t, and we have to solve for t. We want to know at what time, so we're solving for t. And this is a booger to solve. Um, we're going to start by multiplying by the denominator. My denominator is 1 plus 2.5 e to the negative 0 0.10 t. Multiply over here by the same thing. 1 plus 2.5 e to the negative 0 0.10 t. Uh, and that's going to give me, on the left side, 20 times 1 plus 2.5 e to the negative 0 0.10 t. On the right side, these are going to cancel. That was the whole point of multiplying by the denominator, was to cancel that. We're left with 28. Uh, left side, let's distribute that 20. So 20 times 1 and 20 times 2.5. I know my 1 times tables. Pretty good at those. Um, something you learn in college. So 20 times 2.5, though, that's a little bit trickier. Punch that in the calculator, and you will get 50 e to the negative 0 0.10 t is equal to 20. That should be 28, not 20. Yeah, I'm left with my 28 there. Equals 28. Then we start solving the equation. So subtract 20, subtract 20. Um, you get 50 e to the negative 0 0.10 t is equal to 28 minus 20 is 8. We'll divide by 50. Divide by 50, and these cancel, and so I end up, after that step, I'm going to go over here. I have e to the negative 0 0.10 t equal to 8 50ths. Variables in the exponent. Take the natural log, move that variable down front. Um, the ln of e of anything is just the anything, so negative 0 0.10 t is equal to the natural log of 8 Divide by negative 0 0.10. Divide by negative 0 0.10. Over here they cancel. And finally, we are at the point where I can throw this in the calculator. Uh, so we throw that in the calculator. And ln of all of that divided by negative 0 0.10, you get 18.236 days. And I already had all this punched in my calculator, so I was just kind of looking at my answers. So uh, there we go. I don't think, I think the last one was a blank page. Yeah. So you know what blank page means. Triangle man. Triangle man. Triangle man. Triangle man hates particle man. They have a fight. Triangle wins. Triangle man. There we go. All right. Uh, so I guess that's it. Um, hopefully this made some sense. We do not have AO tomorrow. And don't forget fifth period. Uh, pep rally schedule, you will actually be moved up towards the beginning of the day, so don't count on lunch as study time as well. Um, and that's it. I'll see you all tomorrow.